Right, my planning application has been submitted for the cow farm. Hopefully it gets accepted and hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'd like to start building it fairly soon. Anyway, yep, I managed to get the 135 going. It was quite simple really. I jumped on the seat and turned the key and it started. The only problem is this is the 135 which John has left me and I'm not too happy about the situation. He seems to be still up to some kind of criminal activities. So what do we do with this tractor? Well, the first thing I'm going to do with it is just take you for a quick spin. Because it's been so long since I've driven this tractor. I can't believe that I'm even driving it again. This was in the flood. In a Latin flood. And it's been restored quite lovingly, it would appear. But who by? Was it by John? Has he actually put the effort in and then just given it to me? If he has, that's very kind. But then what the uh, salesman said is very suspicious about the activities going on there between John and the owner of the business. What a mixture. Yeah, it's very nice. So the question remains, what do we do with it? What should Dagwin do? You decide. Anyway, the first job of today is to go and retrieve my vintage tractor from the show. I think most tractors have already been taken back by their owners because the event has now finished. But we have had the results and you'll be pleased to hear that I came fifth. Out of, I think there was eight. So that's not too bad. But no, I'm not a winner. <laughs> I didn't win. But it's the taking part that counts. Although winning is still fun. Okay, so this field, which I planted not that long ago, has germinated, which means it is going to need a bit of attention. We we'll need to get a bit of fertilizer put onto there, and possibly some herbicides soon. But yeah, the other focus is, of course, to get my field just behind us drilled as well. I think this field to the right of me now is going to be done next spring. We'll put a spring crop in. But since the weather is fine, we might as well make the most of it. Okay, so here we are. There's still quite a few tractors here. The fairground rides have got... Oh, well, this one's still here, but that one's gone. Um, there's my tractor, and my other tractor is over there. So let's just put the ramp down on the back. There we go. And I think a bit later on I'm going to go and visit Dennis because it has been a long time since I've visited Dennis. He used to send me text messages all the time and just recently he's gone really quiet. I've had none. So yeah, I don't know why that would be. He probably just wants to keep himself to himself. With the condition that he has, I'm sure he uh, does prefer to... Uh, rest quite a bit. Okay, so there we go. That's the first tractor. Safely on the trailer. And the second tractor with the plough just over here. So yeah, this is my legitimate 135. With over three and a half thousand hours on it, but still going strong. Get as close as possible without actually making contact. And we should be okay. We should be able to put the ramp up. Good. Okay, so it is a bit of a shame that we didn't manage to bring the hats across to the show. Dennis's tractor. But there's always next year. It's a nice show, but it's quite a small site. And it wasn't the one they initially wanted to go for. As I said, it was actually over the far side, but obviously something happened. I don't know if it was the landowner didn't want the show there anymore, or some other reason. But this show, this show ground is is okay. Just yeah, the, the limiting factor is the size of it. So I put this back in the yard. I think we'll keep them on the trailer for now. But the sooner I can get a shed put up on my grass field, the better. 
In fact, it won't even be hard to get a shed put up. It's the actual cow farm itself. The main building. In fact, I'd really like to have a shed up in the next vlog, or by the next vlog, since my straw bales are outside, and I don't want them to be. And I don't really want to take them off the trailer just to reload them, because they belong over at the cow farm. Okay, good. So there we go. Next up, we need to get the drill. I think, where did I put it? My brand new drill, I think I put it around the back. Yes, there it is. We need to find a use for the container as well. I bought it to spray the tractor in, but now it has no purpose. I'm sure I can find a use for it. I suppose I could put the hats tractor in there. It's not really a tractor which I'm going to be using. It's just for taking to shows, although it didn't go to the show, but <laughs> it'll be going to a future one. Right, let's hope it fits. The other one did. Nice. I wonder if we can get two in here. Possibly. It's pushing it, but it's not a bad place to store them. Okay, so we know where the drill is. We have the new Holland ready. So let's go and drill this field just in here. And then we'll look into doing some fertilizer spreading. Oh, and before I forget, the sheep. Now the sheep have produced some wool for us, as you can see here. That's going to have to be sold. And I will bring a bale across because they are running low on feed. Yeah, we'll bring a bale across, but I'll do that later. Just pull the hoses out, and then we can drop it off. There we go. We've got plenty of seed. It's going to be a canola crop. And we're ready to go. This is going to be such a fast job. Big drill, small field. But although we have the small drill, there's not really much point in using it, except for just for fun, uh, because yeah, this drill obviously works here. It gets the job done quickly and we can move on. Ah, oh, weeds. Weeds! They don't want to be here. And next spring I'm going to be putting some potatoes in the little plot of land next to the house. So yeah, the focus is going to be over in the new field, in, in the new grass field. I don't know how much of that grass field wants to be grass. We might be able to plough some of it up and put a different crop in. Because one thing's for sure, the cow farm is not going to take over the entire lower portion. Fiery leaves. Very red and orange. Okay. Lap one done, let's complete the job. Brilliant, so it would be so nice to have more land. And we don't need quite so much grass, even though the cows are going to take quite a bit. And as I've said, I don't think we need to do that small field this year. We shall leave that for the spring. And over winter, we're going to be giving these sheds a good tidy up. They're very messy. Right, okay. So as soon as we have the money, I think also a sprayer, a bigger sprayer, is going to be in order. Because as you know, we have this lovely one, little homemade one here. Um, but it's not that big. It's fine for the field which we've just been working in. But this field here, 
not really uh, up to the job. Well, it is up to the job, but it takes a long time, which is why I've been spreading instead. So we're going to spread it with fertilizer. We probably don't have enough, but this is a job for the 390T. And of course, on the back of the 390T, we currently have the bale trailer. So I think, well, it's sitting outside here. What we should do is either clear a space in that shed or take it straight over to the cow field. I think clearing space is going to be a wise idea. We can use the... Which one should we use? Nah, this tractor's going to be best to tidy up. That's good, at least we're not going to lose these bells now. After all that work creating them. How much space do we have behind? Almost a meter, I'd say. Go back a little bit further. And we'll drop it there. Good. Well, it keeps them dry. So, let's now do our fertilizer spreading which won't really take too long. Just got to squeeze under here to get that PTO shaft. Not the easiest thing to fit. There we go. And we can now spread the field. Yeah, so as I've said, we don't have a full load. In fact, we have less than half. But it might just be enough. If it isn't, then we can, we can just go and get some more. It's not an issue. But we'll start here. And I'm so determined to start work on the cow farm. Because uh, really, once we're finished here with the arable work, that's it for this year. There's not really much more to do. Obviously, the sheep are going to need attention all year round. And the chickens. I haven't forgotten about the chickens. I just don't know if we should get more chickens. Is it a viable option? But this crop is looking nice, and it's so good to see that we've had what looks to be 100% germination. I can't see any failed patches. Makes a nice change. Okay, so yeah, things are going well. It's a beautiful late autumn day. And we're spreading the fertilizer on the land. And there we go, the final piece. Now I don't know if we can actually get any on the uh, the other field. I'm hoping we can do. I haven't spread any digestate on there or slurry this year. So it really could do with something. And at the same time we'll actually give the sheep their hay. So if I just go and get the front loader. just down here. We have so many hay bales, but it's all in preparation for the cows. And really, these hay bales don't want to be here. The sheep have their own lucky sheep, their own secret supply. Uh, yeah, we've got so many bales. Alright, don't want to scratch the paintwork, that seems to be aligned. Put the pin in, and we're good. There we go. Yeah, we've still got the pallet fork on, but that's fine. It's going to be such a fast job, this. Even faster than doing the uh, seeding in the first place. Okay. Here goes.
It's working well. Uh, the, the working width of the spreader is probably almost the width of the field. I try my best not to get any into the sheep. Yeah, into the sheep's herd. Um, so yeah, as for the pallet of sheep's wool, we are going to get that sold today. I just need to make a quick phone call so they know we're coming. I'll also look at the best price, but I think there is only one place around here that actually buys the sheep's wool. Look at that. Just a strip down the middle. Okay. There we go. We are done. Last stop, the sheep's field. So many ways through now. Now they do have some, but I do like to keep a bale there. That way if we do run out, they've got some more to add to their own trough. <laughs> they can start munching off the bale. We will remove the plastic wrap or the, um, the netting. Lovely, fresh hay bale. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually cut this field. It's always been used for animals. Right, there we go. They can have whatever they want from that bale. Right, so the next thing is to have a bit of food. Not had any breakfast. Breakfast can double up as lunch. Just put the spreader over here. And then I think after lunch we'll go over to the field, the, uh, the grass field. And we will just have a good think about things. Although actually the chickens could probably do with some more wheat. So if I take this tractor over there, we can attach it to the Bailey trailer and tip some more wheat into their feed area. But yes, as I said, I'll see you after food. Right, we're ready to go. Uh, you might be wondering why I have come out of that door. Well, I bought a cat a couple of weeks ago. I couldn't think of a name for him. I'm thinking Catwin. Uh, but you know the point is here. It's laying across the rug right in front of the uh, right in front of the door here. So um, yeah, having to come out of the the side door. Is Catwin a good name? Not sure. Right. Um, yeah. Let's go. Not very adventurous, is it? Dogwin and Catwin. Dagwin. I think we can think of a better name than Catwin. Viewers, please do comment down below. What should my cat be called? You're not going to see him. It's a very timid thing. But, um, well, it doesn't help with Dogwin being on patrol out of there. Still, he's an indoor cat. So here we are. I've been keeping the gate open. I probably shouldn't do. But all the issues with Scott are over. Yeah, Scott got caught. I'm very pleased about. We're pretty much full, but I can fit a bit more in there. Let's just go through the side door. I keep meaning to buy a strimmer or some kind of tool that I can get into here. I think I'm going to have to put it over the fence, though, using a front loader. Because we need to chop it all down. The grass is sort of taking over the space for the chickens. Okay. Whoops. That didn't go well. There we go. Keep that over there. And eventually we'll have some eggs to sell. Should we get more? If we had loads and loads of them, we would be producing quite a bit. If we're going on the basis of one egg a day per chicken, per hen, then really that's not too bad if we had loads. Now we can fit plenty more in here without it being overcrowded. As I said though, we can't really see them, and <laughs> they're in the long grass. It is something I need to do. We must get some kind of brush cutter. 
but yeah, despite I'm not really needing it, we'll just get this trailer and we'll tip whatever we can out into there. We don't really need the hoses on, but um, yeah, I don't need them. Not just to go here. I think it would be good to have more. It's not like they're expensive either. Okay. About 300 litres. We'll pop it back in the shed and we're going to head over to the cow field. If we are going to get more next time, I think it's worth going for a huge amount. Obviously not so, it's uncomfortable the more being in there together. It still needs to be nice for them, a nice life. But yeah, we can get, as I said, we can get plenty more in. If we spend maybe a few thousand pounds on them, then we could really enhance that chicken business egg business because I'm just not selling anything we need to extend the production I almost forgot this I did make a phone call they're offering currently just less than a thousand pounds for a crate so I, I didn't think that's too bad it would be nice to have a thousand pounds for one crate but we can't be too fussy yeah the merchant for this is just next to, or just behind, the main dealership. Here we are. Right, we should get paid for that. And there we go. £918 for a crate of wool. It's all extra, and it's all going to go towards more chickens. So as I mentioned, as we were doing, we're going to go over to my new field and then we're going to finish off at Dennis's just to say hello, see how he's getting on. And then, don't think there's anything else to do at the farm today. I think that's probably going to be everything. Here we are, so starting from the beginning, which is just past the pub. It's a good place, a good place. Um, we have the old entrance, which is all overgrown. Well, I've got this down on the plans to be the main entrance to the cow farm. So that should be coming through here. We might even make it a double gate, I'm not too sure. And obviously clear all this uh, overgrownness. We'll also clear most of this clutter because it's, it's not really useful for me at all. Yeah, I don't even know why it's here really. And then over here, where the archaeologists are keeping their tents for now, um, we're going to have the, uh, the main farm. Just here. The well, the tyre well, as it's <laughs> going to be called, because that's where we had that mysterious tyre, which has never happened again. Somebody playing a practical joke. Um, yeah, that, that can stay there, and it's going to be possibly even used to get the water from for the cows. And I don't think it's going to extend much further than up here. About here will be fine. Yeah, they don't have much on, I don't think. They haven't even needed their tents for a, a future dig. It's been here for so long, the weeds are growing. Anyway, they're going to have to go. And then really from about here, it's just going to be filled. So we could have this lower section as grass and the top section up there as arable. So we could get that ploughed next time. We will see. It's going to be weather dependent. It's going to be winter next time. But I'm hoping the plans will be accepted and we can start building the cow farm here. It's going to be good. Right. Okay. Let's go and see Dennis. As I said, I don't know if we should buy that. What I don't want is for some random person to buy some some not so nice person and then have them cause issues because that's going to be just horrible. Because it, it basically neighbours the cow farmland. So it might be worth just spending the money and putting it into our name. 
Well, he's not sitting outside today. I wonder how many other people turn up in a tractor to visit the residence. Okay. See what sort of a mood he's in today. Usually in a funny one. You must be Dagwin. I am, yeah. Is Dennis available? I'm afraid I have some bad news regarding Mr Jenkins. I take it you are unaware of the situation? Yes. Why? What's happened? He left you a letter. If you wait one moment, I will get it for you. Dear Dagwin, Shortly after moving into the care home, I was diagnosed with terminal cancer. If you're reading this letter, then it means I've passed away. What? What is this? I'm very sorry for your loss, Dagwin. You should know that Dennis spoke very fondly of you. Why didn't he say anything? He didn't want to worry you. That's crazy. He needed help, and I was totally unaware of his illness. It was all quite sudden. Once he started showing the first symptoms, it was already too late. The cancer had already spread. He also wanted you to have this. What is it? His diary. From when he was younger. I'm sure this is very hard for you to hear. Please, come in and have a sit down. 